Okay. So this is a lid size thermo balance STA PT1600, the main unit. In this case, we have two different furnaces on top. One furnace is up to 1000 degrees Celsius, and the other furnace is up to 500 degrees Celsius, and this can also handle some pressure. The balance is designed in combination with the furnace to have a maximum pressure inside the jam of 7 bar. In addition to the pressure inside, you can connect a mass spectrometer, like you see here on the back, or you can connect an FTI infrared spectrometer. Then for operation in gas and vacuum, we have a vacuum pump which is behind the table. And on the left side of the thermal balance, we have a gas control system to control the atmosphere inside the machine. So you can have different gases, purge gas, and also it's possible to control the pressure inside between minus one bar and plus seven bar over pressure. On the right side, you see two control system. This is a heated outlet for the mass spectrometer coupling. And the other one is a control system to have a synchronized start from the thermal balance together with the FIFA mass spectrometer. The red machine you see over there is the mass spectrometer from FIFA. Can measure up to 300 AMU and has a heated uh, capillary for the gas transport. Maximum temperature is about 250 degrees for the gas line. You see here that's a vacuum meter, you see the vacuum, the gauge from the vacuum pump. In the moment the, high pre the, the normal pressure furnace up to 1000 degrees Celsius is on the measuring system. To change the furnace it's very easy, you only have to lift the button here and you can get the other furnace to the front and can work with the other furnace. To operate the system we also have a power supply here and also a chiller for the cooling facility. Everything is connected to the PC by USB bus or by a LAN system. Everything is controlled by the, by the computer system. To operate the system, you have to insert the sample here into the crucible. This is an STA system. You can measure simultaneously DTA and TG signal or DSC and TG signal. We have two little crucibles. And on the right crucible, you have to insert the sample. Therefore, you remove the crucible. Insert your sample into the crucible. The size is about 100 micrometer for this size of crucible. You weigh the sample before on your micro balance in the lab. Then you place the crucible onto the measuring system. When the sample is on the measuring system, the reference side is empty. These are heat shields to avoid radiation and air circulations. We can close the furnace and then we can operate the gas and the vacuum procedure. To close the furnace, there are different buttons here on the front panel. One is the power switch, one is the lift going up and down to close the furnace. The furnace will stop automatically on the right position. If we are working with the high pressure system, 7 bar, we have to close the furnace with the clamp for protection. This has to go around here. And this protects the furnace for automatic opening. After this procedure, we have to evacuate the system with the vacuum pump and then fill the system with gas and during the experiment we can have gas operation. This can be all done from the computer 
or from the manual operation of the vacuum pump. If we want to operate the system with the gas analyzing system like FTIR or MS, the FTIR is not installed in the moment, then we have also to heat the outlet ports and we have to heat the transport line. If we want to do so, we switch these on and also the control system. This part is to operate the heated outlet. This is usually adjusted to about 200 degrees Celsius to avoid condensation of the outgassing product. Also then, we can switch on the heated transport line here, the capillary and the heated inlet of the system. Therefore, we just go to functions and say turn heaters on. And now the capillary will be heated and the gas inlet for the bottle pool will be also heated. The temperature in the moment is I think, set it to 200 degrees Celsius for the transport line and about 100, 120 degrees for the inlet. So then also you can run the, the, the turbo pump of the MS later. To start the system, when everything is closed, we have to evacuate the system, therefore we have to go to the vacuum pump. All valves should be closed, outlet valves, and then we can evacuate the system. The pump is over here, so we do it from the back side here. So the pump is now running, and to evacuate the system we have to open the vacuum valve. The vacuum valve is around here. And normally we have to open the valve very slowly, not to suck out the sample or powder of your sample. The vacuum will be indicated here with the gauge. So now you can pump down the system to the, to the level you want. Depends uh, how long you pump and how, how good the system is sealed. So we don't want to wait for a long time to demonstrate this when the vacuum is, is down. We can close the vacuum valve. You see it's still decreasing. And then we can fill the system to any pressure between room pressure and 7 bar from the computer system. Of course a gas gas bubble has to be connected, at least one gas must be connected to operate this. In the moment it's nitrogen and the range is adjusted on the, on the manometer to about 8-9 bars outlet pressure. So we can fill the system up to 7 bar over pressure maximum. For this operation we have the software here. And there's a program, it's called Data Acquisition System. You have to choose which furnace you are working with, the high, high temperature or the low temperature. Again, the low, low temperature, 500 Celsius, is with pressure. The high temperature is usually without pressure and can only run between vacuum and a small overpressure, maximum one bar in the moment. So, in this software, we have a gas control system, and there's a button which is called fill. And here we can adjust any pressure, let's say 0.5 bar, and then we can fill the system with this pressure. The inlet perch gas valve is now open, fills the gas into the chamber slowly, and the pressure will be indicated here, or also in the software from the pressure controller system. We adjusted about 0.5 bar and we are seeing in a moment the current pressure inside the system is nearly 0.5 bar over pressure so the system is full and will be inlet valve will be closed automatically when the pressure is reached. So you can adjust any pressure now between 0 and 7 bar. Then you can program here gas control systems. You can have a purge gas which is used as a carrier gas for the MS or for the FTIR. You can also additionally use three additional gases 
for a chemical reaction or for any kind of other purpose that you can mix different gases. They can be all mixed here and position number six is the pressure controller. You also can run pressure profiles. It's not necessarily one constant pressure. You can increasing or decreasing pressure profiles. As well as you can also run increasing or decreasing in gas flows or constant gas flows. This is very flexible. Then you also can program here a temperature profile, which is the temperature at the sample. So you can run any temperature profile, any gas profile, and any pressure profile. When all this is done, you can really start the software and you can acquire the data for the TG and the DTA DSC signal. If you want to run the mass spectrometer also, you, in addition, you have to run the mass spectrometer software Padera. And in this software, you can adjust what kind of masses or what the masses you want to see. The, the mass spectrometer is able to see data from 0 to 300 AMU. And you can adjust any window or only the individual masses you are interested in. When you start the experiment, the TG measurement and the MS measurement will be started uh, con um, simultaneously and this both will acquire data. The MS will also measure the time and the temperature from the machine. Our machine, the SDA will measure the temperature and the TG and DSC signal. In the evaluation later you can make a combination and you can see all data together in one diagram. So, I think that's so far the basic of this unit. And for the software, there should be an individual film to show you the um, possibilities of the software.